Well, hello. In the words of Monty Python, now for something completely different. This particular time in most people's lives, uh, you might be consumed with self-isolation. I decided to take on a project of restoring a 1971 Honda PC50 moped. Now, this moped hasn't run in about 30 years, so an engine rebuild was a necessity, unfortunately. Uh, but I was lucky, the engine wasn't seized, and with the cylinder walls rebored and a new ring kit, it actually went together quite nicely, and the compression numbers were pretty decent. Now, sourcing parts for a 50-year-old motorcycle can be challenging at best. Uh, this one was especially difficult because it here in Canada, it was only offered for one year. For example, I sourced a horn button on eBay, but somebody was clearly trying to take advantage of its rarity, I guess, and had one for sale for about $200. It was used. So I ended up making my own, uh, just with plastic parts I had kicking around the house, uh, and it worked just fine. So while this little motorcycle was being sandblasted and repainted, I had an opportunity to go through all of the electrical systems and connections to make sure everything worked. Everything did work except for the generator itself. The uh, two coils, two primary coils were both failing along with the points. Luckily, I was able to source a uh, coil for the ignition and a primary coil for the lighting system. Each one runs autonomous of the other. It's a very simple system, like, uh, like a little mini bike, I guess. But uh, if you can find the parts, repairing and replacing them is fairly straightforward. I always recommend buying appropriate tools. And as you can see in this particular part, I actually had a tool to remove the flywheel. And it worked brilliantly. And obviously, the bike runs. So we brought this little moped home from a damp barn. It was quite rusty and falling apart. And from this day forward, it's probably going to lead a pretty cushy life in my basement. Incidentally, in that same barn, there is a 1985 Maxim 700 from by Yamaha. So my next project might be resurrecting that old machine as well. So this little thing came back to life just as we're coming out of our restrictions. Perfect timing. It was a lot of fun, and hopefully I'll do another. Until next time.